efforts to ensure that families in this country have warm, dry homes. Good answer. Question number three, Joe Luxton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, what reports has he seen on the housing market? The Honourable Phil Twyford. Mr. Speaker, this morning the latest Massey University Home Affordability Report uh, shows a 4.4 per cent improvement in the national affordability over the most recent quarter and a 2.1 per cent improvement over the last 12 months. This comes on top of Core Logic reporting that one in every four homes sold in New Zealand last month was sold to a first home buyer, the highest rate for first home buyers since the Clark government in 2006 7. There is still a lot of work to do to build our way out of the national housing crisis, but Mr. Speaker, we're making good progress. How has housing affordability improved across regional New Zealand? Over the, past seven, sorry, over the past year, seven regions have shown improvements in affordability, led by Northland with a 6.5 cent per cent improvement. Housing affordability has also improved in Auckland and Queenstown, two of the areas with the most acute housing crisis. There's a lot more to do, but this is an early indication that this government's policy to intervene in the housing market on the side of first home buyers to discourage speculators and to build our way out of the national housing crisis is starting to bear fruit. What did Messi University's report say about median house price to income ratios? Well, most importantly, median house price to income ratios are starting to contract. House prices in Queenstown moved from 13.7 to 13.2 times annual wages and nationally moving from 9.1 to 8.8. We are stabilising house prices and lifting household incomes through increasing wages, sensible economic management, the government's families package and increasing the minimum wage. What reports has he seen on the effect of other policies on home affordability? Well, Mr Speaker, recent research has found that special housing areas created to improve housing affordability actually generated a 5 per cent increase in house prices and worsened the affordability of homes in the, that area. The researchers found that the Special Housing Area Programme simply allowed developers to offer new homes with an additional attribute, a shorter delivery time, which allowed developers to set higher prices. Question number four, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr Speaker.